Hello and welcome back to another video here on the Madonna YouTube channel. It has been a while since my last video. The last video was a preview for the Real Madrid game. A lot has happened since then. Like, Celtic have lost their first game in the league in over 300 days. They had a shaky performance on Saturday. Almost by Shakhtar Donetsk in the Champions League as well. So we'll have to go through what in this video it's a preview for the Champions League tie away against RB Leipzig, a third game in the Champions League group stage, so let's do my preview and see how I think they're going to get on. So first now we're going to go into my lineup prediction for this big game against RB Leipzig, so here we have it here in goal Joe Hart. So in the past few games I've not really been as happy with Joe Hart as I normally am, I know he's a fantastic keeper and he normally does very well for Celtic, but in the past few games, uh, as I haven't been making the videos, I haven't been able to express my opinion on Joe Hart, and I think he just needs to step it up that notch to where we know he can play. There's a few players in the team recently that we know they have a high standard, and when they're not there, people are disappointed, and that's why, because we know they can play better, and I think Joe Hart is one of them players. Right back, Josef Juranovic, him included, I think he didn't have the best game, on Saturday against Motherwell getting the own goal as well. He could have had a goal about 90 seconds earlier when he took the free kick and I guess if he scored that people would be saying oh what a goal, what a player and stuff like that but you know just one mistake then it's easy to look the other way then. But So I think he will have a good game, he plays well for Croatia, he's normally good in these big games. Two centre backs, it's the position on the perch where I'm most worried about Stephen Welsh and Martiens. We'll be trying to keep Timo Werner on form, Timo Werner quiet for as long as possible. I hope Carter Vickers is back for this game, we can see that we're missing him. I feel happy enough with Jens, but I think Jens and the way he plays sometimes isn't as free flowing and he can't attack forward when he has Welsh behind him because when he knows he has Carter Vickers there, he knows he can drive forward and Carter Vickers is always going to be there, but with Welsh not as much. So Carter Vickers might be back, we'll have to see what Ange says and what the lineup is. Left back Greg Taylor, the only person in that defence you can say that's been consistent this season when you look at injuries and just poor performances from some people. So yeah, I've, I've been very satisfied by him and he's really, with Bernabe coming in, some people thought that might be him gone out of the team but he's proven everybody wrong and he's, he's took that position to be his own now. Three midfielders, Callum McGregor got the red card on Saturday. He needed to do it. It was a poor pass from Italia which led him to do it. And I think it's gonna he's gonna get a well deserved break and he's gonna get the game off on Saturday. Rio Itate got a good goal, he played well, bar that one pass which led to the red card for Callum McGregor. But I think you know he got the goal against Shakhtar Donetsk in the last Champions League game, so I, I don't see why he can't do it again against RB Leipzig this time. Matt O'Reilly, I think he's going to have a big game. You know, Matt O'Reilly is a player that I think Celtic is going to get a lot of money for in a few seasons if it's the summer coming in or even maybe the winter if there's a big deal coming from. But I hopefully Celtic can keep on to him for a while because he is a special player. He's a very good player and I think he will go on for lots and then the sell on clause after that. Right wing, I go Abada over Maida. I haven't really been happy with Maida for a while. Maida is kind of one of them players that. He's like hot and cold one game, he plays very well, and the next he's just, you can't see him at all, he, you don't know where he is on the pitch. So I think Abada needs to be on this game, and I think he hasn't deserved to be dropped in the past few games. Left wing Jota, he's kind of in the same category as Juranovic and Hart, he needs a big performance, we know he can get up to that level, but in the recent games, ever since really that Rangers 4-0 game, these players haven't been at the same standard, so we, we need the game back up, but I'm sure I'm sure we will. And finally, the striker, Kyogo, main man himself. I think Kyogo is just, he's begging for a Champions League goal now. Uh, I don't see why he can't get one tomorrow against RB Leipzig in Germany. So that is my team prediction. Let me know what you think of that, and let's get on to my talk about the game and my score prediction now as well. So as we can see here now behind me, we have the nice wee graphic that I made prior to making this video. So now my score prediction, I think, I don't know what to think. Celtic haven't been on the best performances recently. You know, they've been creating chances, but they've not been taking them. This is a game where they need to take their chances. Leipzig are off of a big result 
in the league on Saturday 4-0 against Bochum. They are bottom of the league, but it's still a 4-0 victory at the end of the day. So I think it's going to be tough. And I'm going to hope for a 1-0 Celtic win with a goal coming from the man there, Jota. Hopefully he can get a goal. He's my captain in the Champions League UEFA fantasy. So you never know. He might, he might fire in a wee goal for me. So that's the end of this video. I am back. Hopefully more videos now for the foreseeable future. And maybe even a reaction at some stage to this game. If, if they win. And if they lose, I might do one as well. But, you know, I, I've been out of the rhythm of making the videos now. So good to get back into them. Hopefully Celtic can pick up the form as well. Good luck.